Jesus Christ, boys! <laughs> Is that Hagrid? What the hell? Dr. Martin's boots. We are watching The Young Ones. This is episode two. If you haven't seen episode one yet, then you won't know that I am not well. Again, I'm blaming the kids, but then I decided it might have been COVID because I think it's just buggered my immune system and now I'm ill all the time. But I'm fine. I just have a rattlesnake up my nose and my head's a little fuzzy. So sometimes I think I'm imagining things, but it just adds to the experience. So the first episode, I literally watched it just like right now and I was very, very confused. But I'm trying to make sense of it and I know it's nonsensical. So I don't know why. It's the flying circus all over again. After every episode, I was like, what did that mean? And it obviously doesn't mean anything. It's just funny and they're trying to make us laugh. And it's working. Rick is my favorite already, but I also like the man that looks like Jesus. And that is it. That is all I have to say about it so far because I've only watched one episode and that's not enough to judge it already. Although I would like to say that it was exactly what I needed today. And I'm very lucky that I have you guys that can suggest these things. Otherwise I would never watch them. And I know I say it all the time, but I'm gonna say again thank you again so much for suggesting watching this because otherwise i wouldn't watch it and i think i already said that but i'll say it again just in case i didn't because you know the fuzzy head and all you suggest i watch i say thank you and because i said thank you that means you have to like and subscribe and also go to patreon and see what's on there it's the rules every time i say thank you you have to do that we know that rick is from drop dead fred but i watched it when i was a child and i'm trying to think because i remember it being funny but was it child humor or was it one of those that has like secret adult humor in it too so I'm gonna have to watch it again. I'm already watch episode two. The Young One, season one, episode two, and play. This one's called Oil. Just Oil. Shouldn't be a play. <laughs> oil. Here we go. So the house wasn't demolished then. Oh yeah, there was a plane crash. Is this the new house? I think it's very beautiful, Rick. Is it not the same house? I thought it was the same one. It's nice to have a front door. We had a front door in the last house. Yes, Vivian, but it was nailed to the ceiling. <laughs> I was drunk. I love his name is Vivian. Come on. <laughs> Do you not think sometimes that you should just go your separate ways? Oh, well, look at all these letters. They're probably built. Who's Bill? <laughs> <laughs> just get off my property. No, get out! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the state of that bed! <laughs> Jesus Christ, boys! All my clothes are here! <laughs> no, they're not, Vivian! Well, now you don't have a window. Neil, your bedroom's on fire! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Caption. Thank you. Mike. His name's Mike. Yeah, the rooms are minging. What the hell? <laughs> Is that your girlfriend? Oh my god, oh no, oh, oh no, I'm not sorry. Who are you trying to fool? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> oh, buddy, Ollie, I thought you were dead. A lot of folks did, but it ain't harm a career, any. Wait, uh, did he not die in a plane crash? This is so confusing. How long has he been upside for? Upside for? Upside down for? <laughs> oh, he's just died. Dirtiest teapot in the world. Oh, a genie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Do you even see the genie man? I haven't got six pairs of hands, you know. <gasps> <laughs> Wait, can no one see the genie? Rick, Rick. <laughs> Rick, come and look, Rick. Come and look at this. <laughs> oh, he just killed the genie. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> dear, oh dear, you do anything to try and impress me. Why did you throw the toilet out of the window? You don't have to buy as much for a house with an outside lavvy. I think you did it on purpose because you know I've got a runny bottom. <laughs> a runny bottom. <laughs> None of the guys shall go to the laundrette without first collecting all the other guys' dirty gear. <sighs> Except for Mike. Except for Mike. Anyway, I'm not going to the laundrette. I'm going to the cellar. I've got a stiff. <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, well, that's uh, fair enough then. <laughs> It gets worse by the minute. <laughs> worse. He's probably the most sane. I thought we were lying on a raft just now. You are. Bloody hot, isn't it? It is. I should get a lower wattage bulb. Are they in the cellar? We're sinking! Oh, relax. <laughs> we're not sinking. Who are these people? <laughs> Can you swim at all? <laughs> Would you mind looking after my buddy? <laughs> All right, so it was a bad joke. <laughs> but then death isn't funny. <laughs> it is sometimes. <laughs> Can you throw my ball back, okay? Oh. No, we didn't. It's going to be brown. How's that? <laughs> what have you done? Turn it into a viola disco? <laughs> Look, uh, do you mind not just going, please? I mean, I'm sorry. Sorry, Governor. Apples and pears, tip for tap. Hey, is that Hagrid? You just called me a bastard, didn't you? <laughs> I did not. Me and my convivian are getting pretty sick of you. Oh, that's a shame. House meeting tomorrow morning, nine o'clock in the broom cupboard. I want that one pound fifty by Wednesday, otherwise another moose dies. <laughs> <laughs> this is so random. Then date. We're only here on time because you kept me awake all night. Listen, man, sleep gives you cancer. Everyone knows that. Sleep gives you cancer. <laughs> Do you know the difference between you and some number twos? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'll teach you to try and assassinate the president and president <laughs> What the hell? What the bloody heck is going on? Yeah. Shut the face, traitor. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ha ha. Missed both my legs. <laughs> Where's the oil then? Sorry, Biff. It's okay, there's nothing in there. That's okay now. It was bad to happen sooner or later. He's killed him. You're all right, Vivian. He's not all right. <laughs> and right at the climax, the oppressed working classes of this house will rise up and seize control of the state. Okay. <laughs> I wish I wouldn't keep doing that. It's passage of time, Ray. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> get it, got it. Do you know you're a spitting image of our landlord, Jersey? <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's my uncle, actually. You know. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Um, what are you doing here? <laughs> Never mind what I'm. <laughs> oh, blimey. Um, <laughs> revolution! Stuff the revolution, where's my 200 quid? 200? I don't think he has 200. Oh, I better go sell some tickets, hadn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. Neil, did you actually pay to get to get in? No, I'm the oppressed workers of the house. Yeah. Neil, this benefit is for you. It's in aid of you. It's in aid of you to help you. <laughs> it's to pay 200 pounds, but he hasn't got. <laughs> okay, yeah. Here at this benefit, actually. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're feeling okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. There's only one thing that unites us. One thing that we all have in common. What is it? Food. The only thing that unites us is Dr. Martin's boots. Dr. Martin's boots. And your boots will have a meeting, and your boots will take control. <laughs> He's very enthusiastic, I'll give him that. <laughs> Dr. Martin's, Dr. Martin's, Dr. Dr. Martin's, Martin's boots. boots, Dr. Martin's boots. Goodness, is that the time? Wait, what? It's finished? No! By the way, it was a complete lie about the oil. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell. Okay, well, yeah, that one was definitely more random than the last one. I thought there was going to be like a running theme, theme, theme through them all, but I don't think there will. It's just going to be carnage. Absolute carnage all the time. That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Do you know how much it makes you feel better? Even when you're physically ill, you feel so much better after having a great big belly laugh. Like the proper good laughs that you can't stop. It makes you feel so much better. I always wonder, think, 
things like this, the writers have, must have the strangest imagination or they're on something, they're smoking something to be able to come up with stuff like this. It's like things out of my dreams and I have some crazy dreams, but that's what it is. Maybe they just wake up every morning and write down exactly what they dreamt about and then they put that into it. That's the only logical explanation. Or mushrooms. I was only planning on watching two episodes today but I really want to watch them all. I want to go on episode three. Do I have time? I have a movie to watch first but then I might come back to the young ones. Fun fact, did you know that Rick was also in the werewolf movie in London but just for like a second. I think I already told you that but I wanted to tell you again just to make sure because you're probably hearing it from me first. So you like this video so you need to like it. Click the thumbs up button. Also you really want to stay so you need to subscribe. You're maybe sitting there thinking oh, I wish there was a way that I could have one week early access and full reactions without any edits. Well there is a way. I invented it. It's called Patreon. So you should head over there because you know I, I invented it. I made it. And that is all. Now we're away to go watch a movie and it's got aliens in it so you can guess what it's called. If you guess you have to subscribe. That's the deal. And I'm gonna go thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.